Today is Valentine's Day 2013. Just watched a conversation between President Obama and a handful of people on Google+. Plus. They have one of those web chat rooms and it was broadcast and you could watch it. A whole lot of joking, a whole lot of everybody's getting along. Some people actually brought up the drone strikes. Obama dodged that well enough. And then the question came up at the very end of one of the women, she brought her family on. This is my son and my daughter. This is my husband. And President Obama, my husband thinks that Valentine's Day is just a made up hallmark holiday to separate him from his money. Could you please, and then she made a joke, could you please make an executive order here on Google Plus that my husband has to spoil me? And Obama ran with it, and, and he's so charismatic, he said, hey, if, if mama's happy, then everybody's happy. And this whole idea that, yeah, let's, let's pander to this woman who wants you to buy her stuff. Now again, think of this in the context of a gender wage gap. Women don't make as much money, and they don't have expectations to spend. One example is Valentine's Day. Oh, no, I know a girl who did spend. Right, and was the guy going to treat her bad if she didn't? There's no expectation. One example of why a wage gap, you, you just don't hear the whole story. But also the idea that Valentine's Day is about love and marriage is about love. All these cultural notions of love and Valentine's Day is one of them, which amounts to a man spending money on a woman. Okay, go ahead. But think of this also in the context of homosexuality. That came up a couple of times in the debate and Obama's, or in the conversation, Obama's so open and, and oh, you know, we, well, everyone should be equal and blah, blah, blah. And one of the people on there was a lesbian and she's talking about her partner and that she and her partner, okay, that's great. But imagine those people in the context of Valentine's Day and all these other bullshit cultural made up things where men have to earn to prove themselves to women. Homosexuality doesn't play into that. Just so you know, that's one of the reasons why it's not so accepted by culture because you don't get to look and say, I want to fight her, or I want to fight, I want to fuck, I want to fight him, I want to fuck her. You, you don't understand what you're supposed to do with that person. So for example, if Obama was asked by the lesbian, hey, my partner doesn't think that I should waste money on them. What is he going to say? Uh, if mama ain't happy, then the other mama ain't happy. No, it doesn't work that way. That whole joke of if mama ain't happy, no one's happy, meaning if you don't buy her Valentine's Day stuff, she's going to make you miserable. And he even joked, Obama, to the guy, you know, you're going to pay a higher price later. What? By being deprived of sexuality? That's a popular thing to hold over a guy's head. By making the atmosphere uncomfortable? You can say that because, you know, guys being uncomfortable and guys being treated bad is funny. Even if it's funny in the context of a whore not getting as much money and gifts as she wants on a Valentine's Day or any other day. But again, what do you say to a lesbian who would say, hey, Obama, or whoever, my partner doesn't want to waste their money. Well, we can easily see that the woman gets what she wants because the... It's another woman? Uh, uh well, uh, there's nothing you can do. You can't play that women are always supposed to get what they want and men are always supposed to do it. Or more specifically, women are supposed to get what they want and whoever they're with is supposed to just do it. Wait, but who they're with is a woman, so all of a sudden there has to be some equity. There can't be just, well, do whatever they want. Just another example of the nonsense of our culture, the garbage idea that we value love or commitment or equality. And another reason why homosexuality will not be accepted in this culture where you have to treat certain people like certain second-class citizens. Men on Valentine's Day, for example. Unless they're homosexual men and then they just decide Oh, no, we don't celebrate her. Oh, we do. Or one wants them to celebrate. But he can't say, ah, men are always this way. Because he's a man. So he actually has to think a little bit more about the critiques he makes of men. Unlike heterosexual women, who can just say any kind of nonsense thing, and the president will be telling them, well, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, um, just, just give her what she wants, or, or, or you'll pay a, a higher price later. 